My name is Carsten Heyermann. Um, thanks for joining our presentation today about e-signing made easy. Um, my name is Carsten Heyermann. I'm Chief Evangelist at Foxit and with me today here is Mahinder Bist. And uh, Mahinder is our SVP uh, for the Foxit e-sign uh, products. So what we'll do today is I give you a real quick overview in slides uh, on what Foxit does and with this regard. And uh, then I hand it off to Mahinder and we're doing it hands-on so that Mahinder can walk you through uh, the e-signing solution and tell you how easy it is to use and how easy it is to achieve your goals with it. Okay, couple words on Foxit. Foxit is um, um, uh, Offering in uh, server categories, um, we're um, leading in PDF editing and creation. So uh, our basic uh, editing in desktop, cloud, and mobile. We're uh, offering an e-signature platform, uh, legally binding, that we'll see today. We're offering enterprise-scale document conversion. So when it comes to high volume, high volume of conversion to PDF, we're offering PDF app development kits, including all platforms, technologies, interfaces, including cloud. Um, we're number two in the world, um, and we are globally present, as you can see. Uh, numbers might already be a bit outdated. Last thing I heard, we're over 700 employees, Silicon Valley headquartered uh, company. Trusted by major brands, including Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. Um, and uh, you can see different industries, uh, probably your industry or area of government is also included uh, on this list. And if not, it might still be included on our customer list. To uh, finish it up, um, uh, we are having a high customer approval rate. So when you are joining us as a customer, you most likely will have the same level of customer sat satisfaction. And we also have a very high so-called net promoter score. So our customers are loving our solutions and promoting us to uh, referencing us uh, to others. Okay, that's that's enough about Foxit. Today we want to talk about uh, e-signing uh, solution and uh, uh, how we make uh, e-signing easy. Um, our signing solution is Foxit e-sign, and we're going to take a look at that today. But uh, before we go there, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, marketplace of signatures um, and uh, why we are all doing it. So it's a very fast growing market on the one hand, but uh, for you as a user, uh, you potentially are here because you have different needs and those needs might be coming from government regulations that are coming out uh, here and there, um, that are coming from um, tamper proving our processes and our transaction that are coming from a general uh, digitization uh, trend that is there anyway, and that is additionally fueled by government programs, investments, and incentives, as well as by post-COVID learnings. We all know it, uh, going home office, uh, paperless processing is very important, um, including uh, electronic signatures. And uh, if you're in banking and financial or the government sector, you're most likely already concerned with some kind of digital uh, signature or electronic signature solution. Why e-signatures? Uh, generally, um, uh, digital transformation is um, uh, has the requirement to secure our transactions uh, in full electronic form. Uh, electronic signatures help to accelerate uh, business uh, to, to execute business contracts and uh, to save on time and money uh, when it comes to um, um, sealing our negotiations, let's say. It reduces the cost of work around uh, contracts and about transactions. Uh, uh, it increases security. Um, we are using uh, encryption technologies in e-signatures and so on. It gives us uh, real-time access to signed documents in that case at any time because they are fully electronic, stay electronic, um, and we can verify signatures anytime on a document online. And uh, obviously, several levels of our server rules of compliance and so on require uh, digital or um, electronic signatures uh, as such. Um, and if you are executing some form of document policies, um, then uh, Foxit eSign can obviously help you uh, getting there. So uh, that's enough of an intro, but uh, in order to really show you 
how easy it is uh, to use uh, uh, fully integrated e-sign uh, products and make your e-signing processes easy. We're going to take a look um, at it right now and you'll see our full e-signing workflow. Um, uh, you see that we have one time and as well templated, so documents that can be used again and again and again. Uh, we have a user interface that is uh, very easy to adopt or easy to use. Um, um, and um, other than that, I suggest uh, we're going to take a look at it right now. Um, so can you help uh, switching the desktop to Mahinder and uh, listening to Mahinder? Right. Okay. Um, hope you can see my screen. I'm uh, going to share with everybody. Yes. Um, all right. So, hello everyone. This is uh, my name is Mahinder Bits, and uh, I am uh, SCP with uh, Foxit. Um, uh, uh, Foxit uh, eSign. Um, the product before that, uh, you know, my company got acquired by Foxit, um, and eSign TV and now it's Fox at eSign and I'm uh, honored to present. I'll, you know, I'll keep it as, as I said, like, you know, it's, um, it's eSigning made easy. So I'll, you know, stay focused on eSigning uh, part of it and eSigning made easy and there are many ways we can eSign a document. And uh, so uh, in terms of eSigning the document, um, you know, I'll, I'll, there are Few things that I want to point out. Um, you know, I do have a panel here on the right hand side, so I'm making sure that everybody can see my screen properly. As long as okay. All right. So yes. go ahead. With this, uh, yeah. So I'll I'll go ahead if everybody can see my um, screen properly. I, I'll go ahead and, and start presenting. So uh, one of the important things, uh, you know, before I start, like is is that we present we Everything happens in the PDF. The signature ultimately happens in PDF. So PDF, PDF is an important part, and we convert several file formats into into PDF. Um, there are templates. Uh, there are two two different terms in here in in PDF world. Uh, sorry, the e-signature world. One is you know, template. Another is document. A template uh, is a template contract. You can use it over and over again, like. Uh, NDA and, and just like our user interface also suggests. Um, and a document is basically every template when you send out to specific users uh, to sign, um, it becomes a document or a contract. Uh, so with this, I'll just uh, show you how a, a contract is, you know, how simple it is to so upload a contract. You can drag and drop file here, or you can simply, um, you know, you can upload the file here. So, uh, so if you Upload from the desktop. I'm, I'm going to keep it uh, from the desktop. A, a simple. I have an employee agreement, for example. Um, so what our uh, software does it takes um, the um, you know if there are any tags or fillable fields on the uh, PDF, it it does convert them into um, the fillable fields uh, within the Foxit eSign solution, um, and uh, and those uh, those can be assigned to because it's a template being created. Uh, already uh, on the template, if you see, uh, you can have the signing parties. So you can actually have a, a signing parties. Uh, parties is generic, you can have a role basically just like employee and employer. Um, and, and also you can have um, a specific person, for example, if a particular manager is gonna sign, you can even uh, name those people right away and you can select select those people so in, and they can be any number of people in the signing um, in the signing uh, sequence I'll keep it simple for now and uh, just keep it one one person signing which is employee signing it and all the fields basically can be tracked and dropped on the right hand side I just showed you a conversion part of it basically the, the these fields got converted I'll just draw drag and drop a, a signature type of field here uh, there can be many other type of fields which can be converted and there's a logic uh, you can also put some logic behind it and, and things of that nature so if you um, take take a look at any of the field properties you can be extended further uh, uh, all the field properties can be extended further right so 
if I then drop a text field, the properties are here. Now, once I see it, uh, there are other uh, some something called smart rules. Uh, we can auto drive document names and auto drive the you know uh, auto send notification to people after the document is signed. Uh, those are already all all configurable within the system. Uh, so this is uh, where we we are unique and we provide a lot of capabilities very easy to use. And at this point, I'll just keep it simple and start sending this document. I have the multiple signups. They everybody will receive a copy of it to send this document. It goes through a workflow and says, who am I sending it to? Um, you can um, start. Um, you can start writing the name of the person if you already have them in the system, or you can add them, uh, add a new person to the system, uh, and it basically add, adds them to the address book. Uh, this point uh, also it selects one of the pre predefined template, and uh, that. The template can be now uh, with the template email can be sent out. You can always make changes and save the template. Uh, let's click a couple of times. So just give me one second. There seems to be some issue with it. Um, give me one second. I'll just check my email. So I should be receiving an email at this point. Ah, so I did. Looks like the, there's some issue right now. So let me, uh, it, the document was not sent out. Uh, Oh, maybe problem at my end. So there was there was this template uh, which was I was trying to send out. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and resend that template again. Okay, so. So, th so this template uh, is at this point uh, should be here. Um, it basically document got sent out. So let me go and check my email. There, there should be new email coming up and soon. So let's take a look at this email. So it gives me the document, I can quickly sign it. So I, I want to, this is something you all have been through. Um, and I just want to keep it simple. Uh, I'll just uh, fill out some of the things and, and just keep it simple. And if all the, as far as the signatures are concerned, all the different signature styles can be adopted. Uh, you can have a sign, draw, image, and you can even use the uh, e-pads and things like that. So uh, now with this, I'll just um, go over to the next. I'm, I'm going to change the signature style and finish the document. Once the document is finished, a PDF gets signed uh, with the digital signatures uh, on it. So if you, this uh, PDF gets signed, I'm given a sample here, basically it gets uh, signed with the LTV lifetime, um, you know, long time term certificate. As well as the certificate details are captured here, all the all the uh, certificate with the uh, with the information you can you can see just digital stamping on it. Uh, we use um, a company called Entrust uh, for digital certification. Now, um, coming to uh, just the last couple of things in the in you know uh, because there are many things we can cover. Uh, before I go to actually um, developer's guide, I just want to uh, focus on couple of more things. There are very different ways in which you can actually use e-signature. One of the things you can do is potentially have a quick online link. 
um, uh, which is, you know, you can take uh, take this link and send send it through email, uh, your own email or through your own, um, um, you know, marketing uh, email system or uh, your own email system instead of sending via eSign Genie, or you can embed it within uh, your platform. Alternatively, you can also um, do the same thing um, by, uh, you know, selecting the, the document or template and you when you're sending it, you can send it to, uh, instead of one, you can send it to a group of users and while sending, you can also choose any of the authentication method. Uh, there are multiple authentication methods available to verify the signer identity. Um, and lastly, um, you know, uh, there are other, uh, important things like you know api web is a very easy platform for the web developers to use uh, from web, web developers perspective uh, they can they can even have a quick uh, code generation sample code generation uh, in json this can be actually plugged into the um, into your test uh, run and then you can build some complex templates we have many more examples and uh, we also have a uh, developer guide with a lot of examples here and sdk uh, so if you want to try it out, uh, developer.esignini.com. With this, I'll hand over back and open for questions.